Let me see if this is on now. Sorry, chat. I think I went. I think I went live on the wrong channel because I forgot somebody else was using my live view before I did. So I, oh, I let them borrow live view. So I don't know what channel I was live on. So I don't know. Um, oh, is he in his room? No, I'm saying like that's the last person that used live view. Yeah, but I checked his thing and he wasn't live. I don't know. All right, let's uh, get to who's who's here. Well, who's here? I hear voices over there. Who is that? It's Max Randy. Get him over here. Max Randy. And Nigel Wellington. Yeah, come come over here. And Nigel Wellington. Nigel, can you help me? That's the name of a fucking steak, dude. Here, everyone, come down. Let's uh, let's have a chat about uh, stuff. So there's no misunderstandings or miscommunications towards anything. Okay. Well, first of all. I'm gonna ask everybody individually uh, how you're feeling, state of the house, state of you, and state of the streams, your streams. Uh, my streams have been amazing. I just had the first desktop stream. Um, I like the house. Uh, don't like what happened next to Andy, but that's not about me. And by the way, everyone can voice their opinions without having fear of anything. Okay, just I'm throwing that out there. You can say whatever the fuck you want about anyone, uh, as long as you're just not completely shitting on your fucking housemates, um, like for no reason. But you know, if you have an opinion, you can voice any opinion you guys want with no fear of anything. Because I, I feel like there's some kind of fear sometimes. I, I think there should have been better communication with stuff that happened next to me, Andy. That's, 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 that's my comment on that. But how, how, how have you been feeling oh, in this I'm house? I'm great. I've been having really good streams. I'm doing IRL stuff. I'm doing great. I'm loving it. Okay, that's good. And you're, how have you been feeling yourself personally? Good. Okay. Healthy. Well, hopefully healthy, right? right. Hopefully, uh, I mean, like I said, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a doctor for you, physical, yep. so we can uh, see what's going on with the, the whole leg thing. Cassandra. Oh, pass. No, there's no passing here. I already told you how I felt. Yeah, but now you're gonna tell me again. I was just getting so much hate for the whole Mexican Andy situation. I was not. Why do you want his room so bad? I don't. <laughs> I'm just fucking like, with you. If I were to move into that room, let's just say in the near future, I would want to like earn it, you know? I wouldn't just want to move into it just because somebody got kicked out that's fucked up. You and Bren are going to switch rooms. That was not my intention. You, you, and, you and SSJ are going to... To move into your room, I would have never done that. You know, that would be really fucked up. You and SSJ are going to switch rooms. I thought that. Hmm? You and SSJ are going to switch rooms. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, because I came to an agreement with him that he wants to be off camera, away from everyone, in the basement, in that corner room. And you are uncomfortable because you said somebody walked in on you changing. Yeah, and no. obviously you hate that fucking room, so you guys are going to switch rooms. I really like it now. Okay, then stay in the fucking basement. I don't know. Do you not want this his room? No, I do, but I, I want to earn it. You know, everybody thinks that I'm like undeserving. But yeah, was, Cassandra, I, I think I think people would always think that. Just take the damn room. Whatever, thank you. Just switch. So like, I just I feel really unsafe downstairs. Like the bathroom doesn't even work. It's gross, and there's random people. Well, the toilet there. works, right? Yeah. Where do you take showers at? Here. In Blade's room. Yeah. <laughs> That's good shit. Um, or in Jacob's room, huh? Okay. He's super OCD. Like. Super clean. Uh huh. Okay, I dig that. How have you been feeling lately? Pretty good. What about in this house? I like living in this house. It's really nice. Do you have any concerns? Uh, not really. I like everybody here. Just, I guess, the random people around who make me feel uncomfortable. Like what, just viewers? No, not viewers. Just, like, weirdos that come by. How do you think you can... So you, you bring up, you don't think you're deserving. Mm -hmm. How do you think you can be more deserving of... I mean, I've been trying to stream every day. So. I think you've been doing a good job. Yeah. And I would, you know, you should keep it up. Thank you. And don't worry about, you know, don't worry about security guards or bullshit. Just, you know, I think you're doing a good job. Um, all right. Mexican Andy.
What's up, dude? How are you feeling? I feel good right now. Okay. Um, I'm sorry that you felt so fucking bad yesterday. Um, I just want you to know, you can just talk to me at any time you want to make you, f- you know, feel comfortable. Yeah. Um, if anybody, like, like if SSJ says something that makes you feel uncomfortable, just, c- like, come to me, dude, and talk to me about it. So if anything happened, like, if it involves me and him, then let's go upstairs and just talk about it. Yeah, just, like, I, you know, if you have an issue with somebody, like, you know, talk with me about it. Snap back at them, you know, whatever, and then, you know, talk with me about it. Um, you know, take whatever he says with a grain of salt and, you know, we can avoid, hopefully, <laughs> any sort of no, issues no, in the future. He me out and to call the cops on me. What? But he's not going to, he's, he can't kick you out. He's not going to call the cops on you. If he does, like, like he's, he's not. Yeah, what if, Cause at the end of the day, I have the say, so it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? If he had the fucking say, um, you probably wouldn't be here right now, right? But I want you here. Yeah. <laughs> so just remember that. And don't, like, if you feel bad, just talk to me, dude. All right, um, like I said, I'm sorry that you felt that way. It was, you know, his intention wasn't malicious. It was, he was trying to, you know, play like a joke, but. I it was, because, I mean, he looked pretty serious when, yeah, he, I, was like, I was like, okay, when he looked pretty serious, I was like, uh, okay. Yeah, he was, uh, he came off really poorly. Uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but besides that, how uh, I know you've only been in the house for like a day, I think, or two days. How have you felt? I don't know. I've been feeling pretty good. It's just that uh, the other day, it doesn't involve the stream. Like, I just felt bad for the viewers. To, like, because I was talking about Verizon and going to Billion, and like, uh, I told the viewers to like, go away. So I, thought, like, <laughs> what do you I, mean? I feel bad, you know? What do you mean, like? Okay, so I, it was like viewers like, that was in the stream house, like off stream. Like, they were just wandering on, wandering on stream and, looked, and they were looking at my room, right? And they were looking at me and they turned away from me, but I told them to go away. But I was, that's only because I was busy talking to Verizon. So, I was kind of busy. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, yeah, fuck it, dude. I mean, fuck it, dude. <laughs> hey, fuck it, to be honest. Honestly, dude. I mean, what's your, uh, how do you think, like, you being in this house is going to, do you think it's going to be a positive or negative sort of I mean, future if, you know, for it? I mean, if the situation doesn't keep happening, then uh, I don't think it will be positive, but if, uh, if, if that keeps happening, then I don't know. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Just trust me. Just don't worry about the Brent situation in the future. If, if it happens again, just uh, know that people in the house will back you up. Um, and there's no like reason to feel concerned about being kicked out um, from right. one person. Because it's just not how it works. If we ever kick anyone out of the house, it'll probably be like a voting thing. Like Everyone in the house should want that person out. You know, if so if one person has an issue with someone else, that's their fucking problem. But if everyone in the house has an issue with somebody, that's when it gets to that point. I think that's how it should go. You know what I mean? So then it's not opinion based and it's very objectively that person should leave the house instead of subjectively. Um Oh shit, like I love You don't live here yet, but no. you might win the Saturday competition. <laughs> Obviously my streams have been killing it, you know, I got like hundred K viewers in my last streams and everything. So yeah. So this guy flew all the way from fucking Ireland. No. Manchester. This guy flew all the way from Africa <laughs> to come fucking be a uh no, I was in South Africa, I was just chilling and I was like, yeah, fuck it. Like, he, he came to try to audition for the butler and you know, he came last Saturday. It's a little bit early because I missed uh you know, missed it the dates, but he's, he's been staying here since last Saturday. He's doing a really good job, actually. He got the walkie-talkie on him. All the uh, where's the walkie-talkie now? Well, you know, you know, you've not got yours on you. Yeah, you're. So. I'm, I was testing you, but yeah. no, he woke me up today as my alarm clock. I love it. He gave me a Red Bull when I woke up. Actually, he cock, he walks in my room late at night with a fucking notepad, and he's like, "Let me write down everything you want me to do." And like you're, you might. I'm just gonna say for any butlers on Saturday that want to audition, he's a good example to follow. He's pretty good. Oh, don't take my shit though. Like, come up with your own shit. Like, yeah. you can't be quitting with no pads and stuff. That's my thing. Man. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> the only thing I have to really say is, um, <clears throat> you should dress like a butler. Yeah, I really should. Um, but you know, it's kind of the scuff butler look at the moment. But I'll get the proper butler look. You know? we'll I mean, dude. I'll give you uh, I'll give you some money. Just go out and oh, shit, yeah. buy like a fucking little suit or something, dude. Like a or like a like a just some fucking shit. Because yeah. on Saturday, tip 
you should come dressed your part uh, because you motherfucker, we're looking for some uh, some Jeffries yeah, over in this bitch. If, if I can stream it, uh, I'll, I'll take you to get clothes. Oh shit! Yeah, no, no. You'll stream to go get him clothes. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I, I, the, this guy says slave competition. Do you feel like a slave? No, I feel like an intern at most, like sex intern. Like you don't feel dehumanized or anything. I'm kind of fucking loving it, dude. Because like three weeks ago, I was making coffee and shit in England. Like living with my parents, like right now, chilling in the mansion and what, like, I gotta like clean up or get a Red Bull or something. <laughs> it's, not like it's, it's not a slave shit. It's fun. Look, we're in fucking California in a mansion. Like, it's sick. What if I asked you to do some real slave shit though? Like go and like, like, like cut, cut like, no, like cut the shit. grass with scissors. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I'll do it. It's gonna take some time, but I'll do the best job at it. But honestly, you kind of, you know, this, I know this dude, uh, his name is Bodhi. You kind of remind me of him. He says that. So, says it. Uh, I, I mean, I think you got the accent too. I've always wanted, I wanted, the, I wanted the butler to have an accent, give you the accent. because uh, it, it differentiates yourself from everyone else. Because no one else is British in this house, except Cassandra sometimes. Let's hear that accent. When my alter ego comes out. Oh, okay. When the alter ego comes out. Dude, y'all, y'all fucking accents, dude. But I mean, so there's no concerns. Nobody has any issues no. with anything. Hyphonics is in here. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm too. All right, cool. And okay, yeah, I just wanted to say that because people were saying that the butlers is like a like dehumanizing, but like no, it's like fuck yeah, I'm not making them eat shit. Like yeah, as long as it's like no human sense eat shit. Like yeah, no, like you you worded it correctly. Intern is a good word. Yeah. Um, and then you also get the, if you win the competition, you get the stream and the process and make money and yeah. other shit. So, all right, cool. That's about it. Can you, can you help Andy get shit. his yeah. shit up there? Yeah, up the mail, right? Okay, good. So you're on it, dude. Yeah, he's on it. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, I'm good. I had a monster and some other shit and I'm, I'm chilling right now, bro. But thank you very much. Um, What's your plans for tonight, Blade? Um, I haven't seen EBZ since I got to California, so I'm gonna, I know he's not in the house or whatever, but I'm going to go viral with him. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm done. Or, uh, that's cool. That's, uh, I mean, he's, <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while, too, since the whole fucking drama, hyphonics bullshit. I mean, I'm down for that, but what can we do as a group where callers aren't going to fuck us up? That's what I'm Chad, what can we do as a group so we can get out of the house right now where callers aren't going to fuck our shit up? What about that hookah lounge in Hollywood? We're going to, no, every hookah lounge, no fucking hookah lounge. Let's, you pretty much have to do something. Think of it as hot coals, so you can't stay in one place for too long. Hi, fo- let me, uh, do you have Iphonics' number? I, don't have, I just have his Twitter DM. Can you go knock on his door, see if he's here? Which, which door is It's that one right there. Uh, well, let's see. The chat will... Uh, Help decide here. Because honestly, I don't really know. Walk the streets, dude. I'd be like a solo thing. But I think it's raining. It's, I mean, actually, it probably stopped raining now. But it's still going to be wet everywhere. And fucking shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's good now. Yeah, he's not here. All right. I mean, we we could go bowling. Okay. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, never mind. We're gonna get kicked out. Yeah, fuck. No, but should we call before? No, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Bowl? No, it, I've done that a million times. It doesn't work. It, if they pretend it works, then when you get there, it doesn't work. So I don't know. Where's Richie at? Say go meet Richie. Where the fuck is he at? Because I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just go solo and figure something out. Fuck it, I guess we'll just do that. I just don't really know what. But I'll ask Blade for a ride. <clears throat> just drop me off like somewhere like just down the street. I'll figure it out. Blade. Yeah. Can you uh, drop me off somewhere? Yeah. It's like down the street? Like two minutes, right? All right. Uh, okay, you want to come with me? Yeah, why don't you come with me, Cassandra? 
I mean, the cigar place. Actually, I guess, no. I mean, I don't want to sit around at some fucking place. But that will be a good start. We could go to the cigar place. We, there was this cigar place we went to that's down the street. That's down the street from here. And there's like a bunch of like weird Arabian Bitcoin miners there. And they were like trying to sell us on like the worst fucking coin I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, it was just funny, dude. So maybe we could start there and then we can, uh, we can move. I can give you a ride if you want. Uh, yeah, I mean, that works. Whereas, do you have your car out there? Yeah. All right, well, let's do it then. I'm not going to Hollywood Boulevard. I literally just told you, like, I'm scared of fucking people and shit and, like, being fucking, it, like, having problems, like, earlier. I'm not going to Hollywood Boulevard. This is, like, this is the main reason why I don't go back out there. So Hollywood Boulevard is not that far, but it's just full of, like, degenerates that try to press me for clout, and I hate it. Like, every time I go out there, there's always some gay fucking ghetto rapper fuck that's just like, Hey, I know you. You're that motherfucker with the camera. Let me fucking come over here and you talk to me like that. Like, or some stupid shit. I don't know. Here, I have this fucking cable, dude. All right, let me grab something from my room check. Give me one second. One second, guys. All right, let me get about the cable. Chat is, I'm, I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I know something bad is gonna happen. Like, I don't want to get pressed. I don't want to have to worry about watching my back. Like, I just wanna have fun when I stream. I don't wanna worry about fucking dumbass retards. So, all right, um, I'm gonna disconnect this Ethernet cable so the stream might lag. But uh, you ready to go? All right, so, but we'll get back to it. When we're like a block away from the house, if it does lag, so. Alright, let me, let me actually just throw my shoes on, because I actually feel. Yeah. I don't even think it's lagging, huh? Alright, let me just get my shoes on real quick. I was lagging a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Where's the? Uh, where's she at? Where's Cassandra? Hey, fuck it, we'll just go then. If she, she probably went to her room or something. Hey, right, fuck it, let's just go. What's that? Oh, what are you doing? Uh, we were having a house meeting, yeah. Uh, but we fucking, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna go out. The house meeting's done over with though, and I'm lagging, so I gotta go. But uh, basically, we just talked about like, if there's anyone, if anyone had any issues or concerns or anything about the house. Is there any issues or concerns that you can think of? Personally, I don't think that what happened yesterday was a prank or looked like a prank. I think it came off really bad. Like, if that was to happen to, like, let's say anyone in the house, they wouldn't take that in any aspect in a good way. Especially if that happened to, like, Brent. Let's say we took uh, Brent's stuff and pushed it, like, downstairs <laughs> to the garage. He wouldn't find that funny. Now, obviously, over the week, we've had a bunch of drama with Mexican Andy and shit. And I do feel bad for him, but if it was a prank, why did why didn't no one tell him before he left? Good point. That's all I'm saying. If you guys told him it was a 
a prank before he uh, went back home and deactivated his Twitter. Everything would have been avoided. But other than that, I mean... How are you feeling in the house? Shit. I'm just trying to do my own thing. When you guys got drama like this popping up on stream and shit, and I have to address it right on the spot, <laughs> as I'm trying to do my own fucking thing, I don't know anything, and if I don't say anything, I'm a fucking yes man, and if I do say something, then I'm a retard, and I can't even figure out what the fuck's going on. I can watch back a clip on Reddit and what's going on. Well, I'm just trying to do my own fucking shit. And today, while I bring people over to eat hot dogs, people's gonna be asking, hey man, we'll go confront Ice, we'll go and confront Brett, and we'll fucking kill everybody in this house so I'm a yes man. And at the end of the day, it's really nice. I like this house. <laughs> Good. That's all that matters, Hyphonics. Marshall's got a lot more space. I have people coming over in 10 minutes. It's so much easier than being all the way back where I'm at. And uh, also about the EBZ thing, you guys should have EBZ come over. Brent's not here, so he's not going to call the cops on him. And well, I mean, EBZ, he wouldn't do that anyways, but well, I, I wouldn't let him do but, that. But still, EBZ should still come. You don't have any bad blow with EBZ? I just want to talk to him, and then I want to see if he gets aggressive, and then that'll be really good content. <laughs> okay, fuck it, EB. I want to see if he gets, uh... Fuck it, e EBZ. Okay, if you can hear this uh, one, uh, I mean, fuck it, dude. I mean, <laughs> come on over, EBZ. Let's have a conversation. All right, let's. Uh... Dude, I don't know where the fuck she is. I guess she's just not coming, so. Let me just call her real quick. Actually, this way. People were saying you, EBZ was outside, so... Anyways, so I don't know. Oh, wait, actually. You don't know how to get out. I'm in the driveway. Where are you? Can you get out of here? What? All right, in the driveway. What? You're over the wall? Why don't you park inside? I don't know how to get in. <laughs> All right. Let's just uh, walk around the pedestrian gate here. Is she coming? Yeah, she said give her a second. Where are you going? Let's just drop us down the street, dude. Okay. There's this place we can go to. Star. How do you think uh, if EBC and Hyphonics meet each other again, how do you think that would go? Uh, I think sparks will fly. In a bit good or bad way? In a bad way. You think Hyphonics is inviting uh, something bad into his uh, vicinity? I mean, EBZ seems like a very erratic guy, you know? <laughs> I mean, no. He's level headed as fuck. What do you mean, <laughs> dude? Erratic? What makes you say that? Uh. I've seen clips. I I watched the Hawaii trip. You know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, is this your car? No. Who's that? I don't know. Oh, great. Dodge Charger. Who's that? How you doing? Hi. Who are you guys? What? Who are you? Oh, okay. How you doing? Hey, what are you guys waiting to get inside here? Oh, okay. I thought you guys were just fucking waiting around first. I don't even know. How was the taze yesterday, bro? You're a fucking freak, you know that? The worst thing ever. <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're an absolute freak. Are you guys gonna do this hot dog eating competition? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Oh my, I got you. Good luck with that one. Oh, there you go. Wait, oh, you just know the code? You don't have a clicker? No. Fuck it, dude. But I'm gonna do a food competition with them today. I know, hot dog um, eating, huh? Yeah, we're gonna see who can eat the most in like half an hour and then do some really fucked up thing. I don't know how- Dude, I wanna join your hot dog shit. Well, the thing is, what we wanna do is I wanna take a nail and put it through the earlobe, whoever loses. But the thing is, can I film that without getting in trouble? Uh... We got some crazy people. I don't think you can do that. What can I do? I can't do something boring, I have to think outside I don't think you can mutilate them. Come over here. Well, when are you gonna- wanna, uh, I'm gonna do like in an hour to 45 minutes from now. I'm just gonna set up the stream right now and get these guys going. Dude, I like eating a lot of food. You actually think you if, if, if I come back within the hour and you haven't started, I'll join you. All right, the thing is we're gonna do it, whoever eats the least is gonna have the consequence. If you eat more than the person that eats the least, you're fine. But if you eat the least, you're fine. <laughs> Where are you guys going right now? It's down the street. Down the street? All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm nailing your earlobe, dude. <laughs> dude, that's fucking handsome. Some other shit. Come on! 
Where are you? I'm just come over here. Fucking over here before the gate closes. Hurry, run, 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 run. You're not gonna make it. You're gonna make it. There you go. There you go. Okay. God, you're a fucking woman. You take forever, dude. What do you mean? Women take fucking forever, dude. How about Blade is taking No. Like, what were you even doing? Uh, it's down the street. You know where to go? Or do you want to put it in my. Yeah, let's go. I just go to Ventura Boulevard and then I know where to go from there. Chat, if I, if I actually joined his hot dog eating competition, do you think I have any chance to beat those fucking other guys? Are you doing a thing? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I've eaten a lot of food. When I was a bodybuilder, I used to eat literally four steaks at dinner. Really? So I have, like, the ability to shove my fucking face, but... Then again, that was a while ago. But then again, I took some modafinil today. And whenever I take modafinil, I can See, eat. See, I, I eat. knew something was different about you. What? I can tell. What is it? Like, you're, I don't know. You're not like yourself. What am when I? When you take modafinil. What am I? You're just like, you're more wired, I guess. Isn't that the, the yeah, point? Yeah, I, I want to be wired. I like that shit. What do you mean? I know, but like, I can tell. Okay, well, maybe I should take it down a notch then, Cassandra. Or no, I don't even give a shit. Fuck it. Is it? Oh, well, I hope it's, it's not, not bad. I mean, I'm just I'm not different. No, and that's why I was like, are you high? And being high on weed and, and taking modafinil, two different things. What I'm trying to say is when I take it, I have an endless amount of hunger. Mm. Some people, it kills your appetite. For me, it, it makes it endless. If I focus on eating, I can eat for <coughs> What's it feel like to be on it? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? You don't feel anything. The only thing that it does is makes you concentrate and like feel more motivated but like and it makes you push yourself to do more shit straight but it doesn't actually feel like anything like if I if somebody slipped it in my drink I wouldn't even know that I took it really? Benapo? yeah but like Don't you, you can like but wired? Uh, no not at all it's just okay this is what it feels like if I get four hours of sleep it feels like I got 12 hours of sleep huh. that's all like it just Interesting. Feels normal. Like you Can I try one more? Energetic. What? Can I try one? Yeah, you want to do a uh, you, you, you want to do oh, a yeah, fucking, sure. you want to put in your book? Yeah. And this live streamer took modafinil. And this is how it made me feel. Yeah, basically. I'm curious. Yeah, I can give you one. I mean, I'm not a drug dealer, but you can have one. Fuck it, dude. Uh, 200 milligrams. I only do 100 milligrams, but you That's can have. You can 100? No. I mean, I don't know. Is it time release? The pills that are prescribed are 200. Oh. And it's not time release. I take 100, though. Because I don't, I don't need 200. I take it at uh, when I wake up, like noon. All right, stop right over here. Do you like being around? You were never a bodybuilder, bro. Bro, I was a fucking bodybuilder, dude. What are you talking about, Lean Ice 44, dude? What? Do you like being around people when you're on medicinal? Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. I fucking love. I would get super anxious. No, it doesn't make you. It's not. It's not fucking Adderall. Come check it out. It doesn't make you feel like Adderall, dude. It's completely different. Yeah, come come with us. Like, you feel so much like... You just feel nothing. I don't know how to explain it. Anyone in the chat who's taken it will know what I mean. Uh, I don't know, Habibi? Fucking... Some, sh some shit like that. I don't fucking remember. Alright, let's we'll smoke a big fat cigar. Adrian, to celebrate your book and to celebrate the coming together of Mexican Andy and Scott Steve Jobs, yeah. We can smoke a fat can cigar. Smoke a stogie? No, 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 a stogie's a cigarette. Stogie's a cigar. Yo, yeah, what's going on, homie? Yeah, he's not here. I know you. Yeah, what's up, dude? Of course. Can we uh, smoke your finest cigar? Yeah. Which one do you want? <laughs> the finest. The finest? Finer than a piece of ass. Okay, I got you. My friend here is uh, writing a book. And to celebrate his uh, his first time taking modafinil, we're gonna smoke a cigar. Okay. So, do you know what kind of cigar he likes or no? Black. Black. I like the like he small wants heavy one. cigars, like a heavy fucking like cigar. Just, small just one. black no cigarettes. No, okay. no, just some heavy, for her, for her. heavy good shit. Okay, heavy good shit. This is this is what like ghetto one? motherfuckers smoke cigarellos. <laughs> like who the? That's like some Seven Eleven shit, dude. 
What's that? Oh, you want to get an Arturo Fuentes? Yeah, a Cuban. Fuentes? No, Cuban. You want a Cuban? Oh, what's the better one? I mean, just my preference. I like these. Let's do the Arturo Fuente. These are these run for fifteen nine nine a stick. Only fifteen? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Only that's it. fifteen. That's it. Where's those forty dollar cigars at, dude? Oh, you want like something super super? I want something nice, bro. When I was in Miami, I smoked a thirty-five dollar cigar. I thought I was God. All right here, forty-five dollars. <laughs> Shit, we're gonna get that one, dude. You want this one? Or what about it. this one? Oh, it's got a whole box. What is that? Three hundred dollars for a whole box. Three hundred dollars. Hundred dollars a stick. <laughs> Why? What is this? Zino Platinum. And what makes them so good? Honestly, just the wrapping and where the tobacco's from and where the wraps from and how it's wrapped. And it's aged longer, so that's why. Okay, let's get the one that's this one right here, forty-five or whatever right. you said. Because right, a three hundred dollar. Can I just get one of the one hundred dollar ones? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I think you have to buy the whole box. Yeah, box on three hundred dollars for this one. This box right here is seven hundred. <laughs> what is what is it? Year of the Rooster. I used yeah. to have a chicken. And these you can't buy them. Dude, if I bought this, you know damn well, Scuss Jim Carrey or some other fucker would smoke them all. Before I even get the chance to, if I left that around you the house. Hang out with Brandon Hampton anymore? No, uh, no, not at, not at all, dude. Are you a, a Brandon Hampton fan? No, I just used to watch like your shit on YouTube. So. And then what? And then I started working eight-hour shit. Dude, so fuck really that, dude. Just quit your job, bro. I wish. Forty-five bucks flat. No, that's that's all good. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you like about the streams? Uh, you're funny. You don't really give a fuck. Remember that guy that <laughs> to kill you? He's like, fuck it, dude. This is how you will know me, dude. Remember that guy at the restaurant? Yeah. He's all like, I'm a fucking mom, bro. Fuck out of here. Fuck it, dude. That was a legendary one. Yeah, no, yeah, it's great. I, I love when that happens. <laughs> That's why I have my my gat. Okay, we're chilling. Oh, my God. It's a decline. Shit. I'm oh, okay, I'm about to say, homie, like, I, be I believe that for a sec, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a broke motherfucker. Oh, actually, I do need Okay. Yo, can we get a free a free cigar? Free cigar? Yeah, one of these. Grab one. Fuck yeah, dude. The ones on the on the floor right there. Get, get Wait, what is this? One. Discount cigars? Yeah. What? Why are they discount? Uh, I really can't. It's like John. John said twenty-five. Hold on. What is this? Why are these? Why are these discount? I'm just gonna just dry it up a little bit. Shit. Yeah. All right, here you go. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, okay. We'll smoke the good one. What? No, no. no. I, you... I don't get out of the dog. Stop. What the fuck was that? Are you flirting with him? I know. He was just. He seemed really nervous. Cassandra, <laughs> if you want a discount on this, you're gonna have to date this man. No. <laughs> okay, okay, so for twenty. Huh? For twenty. Uh. It's just a girlfriend, dude. It's fine. You want a seat? No, it's okay. Okay. Here, why don't you uh, smoke it with us? Really? Yeah, yeah fuck it, dude. Why not? Oh, uh, for sure. Sounds good. So how do we, uh, let me see how, let me figure out how to actually light this one. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So you put it here, and then... Here, hold this, Cassandra. Down. Here. So, let's see. Cigar off. Cut Smell. Cut Smell it part. again? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like real fucking... Tobacco. All right, and then we not cut it. Not that deep. Oh, not Too that deep. deep. Mm -hmm. yeah, Too deep. Good. Good. Oh fuck! Oh, shit. <laughs> right there. Cut that shit. Wait. <clears throat> Perfect. There. Now light up this side. But what, before you light it, make sure like before you put your rocks to light, it, make sure they come apart. You got a lighter? Yeah. Lighters are right. all over there. All right. Let me figure this one out here. Wait, this is cool. Can I try this one instead? Which one? Yeah. You can open the thing. The window. Okay. Is that good? No, it's not right? lit. What you mean, dude? I just got smoke out of my mouth. Where's the lighter? It's lighter. You have to keep lighting it. You, you have, have to keep, keep lighting it. I was sucking on that bitch like Petey. What you mean? This. I keep lighting it. No, wait, don't you stop it at the yeah, it's really puffed. I'm not gonna let it Why? I thought you wanted to share it. <laughs> oh, you think I got a fucking no, no, slobber? I got like an AIDS or something, dude? I have gonorrhea. I'm kidding. Dude, I slobbered on this. Ooh, this is good. This is. Dude, honestly, for 45 bucks, I dig it. Yeah. It's totally worth it, bro. This tastes good as shit. You like that slobber? 
No, that is pretty good. You got some cigar in your tooth. Really? 20 bucks. I do. Adrian, give it a try. Have you ever smoked cigars before? Dude, I've smoked them one time before. I mean, they make you sick. That's all I got from it. If I smoked this whole thing, you, I would get sick. Get a big one, a big old. How does that make you feel? It's okay. Smoke his cigar. Get addicted to cigarettes, dude. Uh, I could never get a dude. When there's jewels and shit, how do you even get addicted to cigarettes anymore? That's fucking like imagine smoking cigarettes nowadays. <laughs> Have you ever touched a cigarette? I had before when I was drunk, but not like. That's what I'm saying. Like I think I smoked like one cigarette in my yeah. life, and I wanted to kill myself after. I was like, why the fuck did I smoke this dog shit? I used to smoke. It's a lot better than jeweling. How? It's a lot more satisfying. You're just like, and you're just puffing it. Burning. You're not inhaling it. Yeah. You want to keep this? No, it's okay. You know what? Dude. I mean, maybe to store it. We're not gonna finish this whole thing, right? The the only time when I smoked a cigarette one time, I was like, they gotta ash it. Yeah. Tastes awful. You smell awful afterward. I mean, yeah. I like puffing yeah, big awesome. clouds and doing O's. Right. You can't do O's with a cigarette. Yeah, you can. It's a different experience. It's more about the physicality of it and the. Ex-New Yorker article writer Adrian Chen encourages people to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I quit. I encourage people to quit. Oh. Oh, try to get a good big, try to get a big one. What's the, yeah, what's the secret to, can you do a smoke ring? Yeah, you want to see it? Pretty good. Hold on. Let me try that again. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. You got one. Nice, dude. That was a good shit. I'm lightheaded now, though. That was a big ass fucking hit, dude. CEO, by the way. I know that's what I'm saying. Dude, I'm a fucking CEO. No, I don't like to sit. Shut the up. Wait, you know how to do rings? Adrian, where did you learn this? You do not seem like the type the to know how to do this shit. <laughs> I didn't know how to do this more than a month ago, or a couple months ago. Really? Yeah, Sam taught me. That's cool. And Boldestad also taught me as well. Would you like to take a, a swig? Yeah, I'm down. It does taste good, though. No, I got you. Yes, inhale, my friend. <laughs> You know, if you guys ever are looking for like a, like some kind of like, uh, like bro, actually this Saturday I'm having sort of like a party. I'm getting, I'm doing auditions at the house Saturday. Okay. Do you guys cater? Cater? Like you want us to cater cigars? Yes. We could. I mean, I, my house is down the street. All right, you want to leave your number and I can give it to the manager? But yeah, dude. Here, let me uh, write it down somewhere. <laughs> now, here's the cash though. Could you cater for free? Cater for free. But then you sell the shit at. The, yeah, the house. I think that would work. Yeah, that would work. Maybe yeah. actually, I, you know what would figure market better? Not cigars, because there's not a bunch of old men there. Whatever you want. Vape shit. Yeah, bro. We'll fucking set up a little fucking table or something at the, in the garage like, with like. Bring like a hundred of these boxes, with like fucking straight. Yes, box. yes, yes. Encouraging people to smoke with nicotine. Yeah. I, fuck it, dude. There you go. <laughs> no, that would be that'd be cool. Because if we could start a little partnership here that'd be nice because I like free vape juice and you guys like customers yeah you want some vape juice right now yeah alright which one you want fuck dude um well actually I don't want new shit. I don't I don't really want any juice because I have a lot but I lost my little fucking jewel like a smock jewel uh -huh. but you guys don't have the little yo you have those which fucking I'll order it for you would you have Soren yeah but these are shitty I can order I can order the one you want for you mm, it's okay. for free Oh. Oh my guy, bro. Dude, I'm fucking lo yeah, how I'm long. Are you, how long have you saved been watching the streams for? Dude, uh, like, I've been watching your YouTube videos and streams for like two years. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Yo, can I just, uh, can I just get this? You say it's shitty, but fuck it, dude. I, I had this one right here, exactly this one right here, this fucking smock one. I would have to call the manager if I were to give those away. Could I have but one? If I ordered I it, it would be under like my name. Oh, so you can't give me that one either? Yeah, the I don't think I'd be able to give that one. Fuck. Okay, get this yeah. one. Alright, yo, I mean, if you. If no, you, I'm saying I can order him this sign. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. But 
Because this is under like the company's name. Like we have this in like our inventory and shit. All right, but I if I it. order it, he doesn't have to pay for it. As long as you don't get in trouble with it no. or it costs you any money, then sure. No, no. It's going to cost you money, but I fuck with you, bro. You're going to pay for it for me? I'm no. Pay, I'm, I'm not, not going to make you pay price, shit. Not market price. I'm going to be paying like, like what we get it for. How much is that? A lot cheaper than that. Okay, the, the yeah. good deal. I mean, that would be sick. I would really fuck with you, bro. Yeah, bro, I got you. Here, just leave your number right there. I don't know if you want to put it in the camera. There. <clears throat> um, so it's actually this Saturday, so okay. just uh, at like at uh, 4 o'clock. So you guys might want to come by oh, way sure. sooner. Sure. But if I, if I, my number is leaked. Yeah. So yeah. I, I get fucking calls and shit all the time. If oh, I, I may, yeah, so I might miss your shit. Uh-huh. Might miss your call. I'll leave a text too. Yeah, just text it with your, here, whisper your name to me. I think they heard that. I but, don't really care. Uh, well, I mean, I said whisper because, <laughs> so I knew who you were when you texted me. And I'm going to get 30 oh, people texting your name. Okay. Fuck it, dude. I'll just come back <laughs> off stream and then we can talk about yeah, it for real. Exactly. Cassandra, why don't you date somebody in the house? I don't like anybody in the house. And plus, I don't think that's a good idea. If a streamer dates a streamer, I would date somebody. Or like, like just, just like, fuck. No. Blade? Absolutely not. Tracksuit if he was single? No. What about fucking. Actually, everyone's fucking taken, dude, to be honest. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Would you ever be considered to do a chatterbait stream? Or like a. I would definitely. Some sort of like robot encounter stream? No. And you know Because Jesse. Jesse did the robot stream. And that's. Yeah, that's Jesse. What makes you different than Jesse? I'm entirely different. But how do I know? I think you and Jesse are the same person. Really? Very similar. How so? Um, I don't know. I think you two are very similar. You guys act similar. I think you are very similar. I think, in fact, I think Jesse might actually. Uh, do you agree with this? I think Jesse might be more of a classier woman than you. Oh, do you agree God. with this? What? I don't. I don't really see much similarities between them. <laughs> you don't think Jesse's classier than Cassandra? I, I would, I'm not going to put them in a hierarchy, but I just don't think that they're similar vibes. At all. No. So tell me, what makes you too good to fuck a robot? I wouldn't want that on the internet. That's already like some webcam shit. Stop! No way, I'm not doing anything. How's that? Not really. I mean, okay, do you think I'm a fucking cam model? Because I fingered a girl on live stream? You did that? Yeah. Okay, but you're a SSJ's ex girlfriend. <laughs> fucking before before they before they started dating. I fucking did a stream with her on Chatterbay and I fingered her. Wow. Like it wasn't a sexual thing. It was I, I was the gynecologist. But, yeah, but am I a cam model for doing that? No, but I don't wanna be considered that at all. Or in that same category. But nobody would con- no, nobody would think you're that though. If you just did a stream were you like fucking? I'm uh, not gonna do it. Like I don't know, just like point blank. I'm not doing sexual it. activity, I'm not doing it. like a dildo I can talk about fetishes, or anal. As far as I'll go. Well, what kind of fetishes would you talk about? I like asking people what their fetishes. And then what to just listen to it, or you want to ex- like? Yeah. You want to elaborate on that? And then like what I've experienced with others and their fetishes. Ask me. What are your fetishes? Cassandra. I have really freaky fetishes. You know what my freakiest one is? I heard them last night. Can I share? Okay, don't ever say that again. That looks that sounds that sounds bad. (laughs) That is not what that sounds like. You talked about it yesterday with that guy. Who was that guy? The spiritual guy, the immoral war angel. He was in the room listening when. He's hilarious. No, I mean I don't know. Hey, Paul, Trevor, Alec, Ryan, Lena, you guys, stop being next. Wait, can I share? He's good now. Thank you, Mark. What your fetishes are? Sure. Really? Sure. Are you sure? Yes. You can you tell them. <laughs> he likes to fuck girls while they're crying. It turns them off. You know, the way you said that sounds <laughs> awful. That is not Wait, so how I said it, but. How do you get them to cry? 
That's the real question. Cassandra, let me just slap them around a little. No, let, let, let me make it uh, let, let me make let me make it clear. I like to have sex when I'm crying as well. Okay. So you're both crying while you're having because sex. Because it's hard for him yeah. to feel any sort of emotion. So he likes to have sex while he's crying. I I I don't know, dude. I like being emotional when I have sex because I don't really feel emotions as well as other people. So crying when I cry and I'm sad about something and then I get fucking my dick sucked, it's just on another level of sexual activity, you know? (laughs) What? I don't know. That's an interesting. What's your fetish, Adrian? I don't think I don't think that's weird. Have you ever fucked the girl while you're crying? While I was crying? Yeah. No. <laughs> or, or while she was crying? Yeah. Okay, tell me about it. What happened? I took her virginity, so it was like she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I, I mean, I like when they cry too, homie. But like for good reasons, though. For good, not because I like beat them or something, but you know, good uh, reasons. Like I'll, I'll I'll be like fucking. So I'll be like. I'll, I'll be like fucking no no not no makeup say I like saying like hey my fucking dog died and they'll cry for me and then I'm like just kidding then we fuck okay it's, you're hogging that whole fucking shit Chad is that weird I don't think it's that weird huh oh really yeah. Okay, can you just ignore him? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I know Jacob, but that's... Do people find out that quick where you're at? Damn, well, this is... I mean, it wasn't that quick, homie. Actually, We've been here for a while. That was a good amount of time, honestly. That's so dope. What are my other fetishes, Cassandra? You heard them all yesterday. When I was saying everything to that fucking Immortal War Angel guy. Um, I told him everything. Because he was wondering about, like, my sexual shit, and... He was, he was asking him everything. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's my spiritual guide. Okay, I want to meet him. I don't remember any so there's this, okay, there was this, uh, this new fetish that I have, very brand new, from like literally a few weeks, a few weeks old. A few weeks ago, I discovered this, this, this type of genre on Pornhub. It's uh, girls sucking guys' dick while on the phone with their boyfriend or ex-boyfriend. I know that one. <laughs> That's awesome. Really? Yeah. You like that shit? Around. What do you mean? That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. You're a fucking freak, I mean, dude. That's fucked up. Like, that's no, I like what I. It's, I love just imagining, like, okay, like that's just hot to me. I don't know, a girl sucking a dude's dick while she's talking to her like crying boyfriend. That I mean, it's fucked up, but it's. She's a freak, isn't she? What the fuck? I mean, I don't know. What is the My room is not dirty. What's she saying? Thank you, oh, sorry, Small. Dude, but we're closed now. Oh, no. Yeah, I, it sucks that you guys have to leave. No, it's all good. We'll leave. Right? What were you going to say? I, it's because my dad's outside and I made him pick where me you, up today. Aw, where do you recommend for us to go? To eat? Yeah. To anything. Not eat. Not eat. Do you want to have a super fun time? Yeah. yeah. My uncle owns a strip club. On Vandal. Well, I can't stream that, though. Do you think you can? Can, can, I, stream, can I stream that? Well, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, would your uncle be okay with that? Could you call him? Like I, I, I don't know. No, I doubt you actually. You know yeah, what I mean? Floyd Mayweather's son went there like two weeks ago. Just Sandra likes to pee on people. <laughs> I pissed on a guy's dick. Before. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, what? In the shower. You're like, disgusting. If it the guy on, then that's Obviously, he showered like after. You know? Why do you say that so confidently? <laughs> like it's okay. It, like I mean, you, okay. you if peed on a motherfucker. If that would turn Adrian or you on. And I were to like just piss on you guys' dicks, wouldn't that? I'd be like, "Why the fuck did you pee on my dick for?" I'm giving someone else pleasure that makes. I mean, that's hot to me. I I missed that. (laughs) Luckily. No, that's gross. That's like making you more dirty in the shower, not cleaning you. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I would be like okay, like I would be open to like shit on somebody, but I would never, I would never be the one to get shit on, you know. So, but I'm the person pissing on them. You're, oh, you can't say my shit's fucking weird when you're doing all that. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, dude. All right, you thank you very much, dude. Yeah, of course, bro. I'll hit you up about the whole catering thing on Saturday. Yeah, just, well, text me before Saturday. Okay, I'll get you. All right, later, dude. Later, dude. Have a good night, guys.
<laughs> yeah. I mean, I I come here all the time, so I'll I'll see you. All right, for sure. All righty. So, what the fuck do y'all want to do? Because I don't know what's going. I don't really know this area well at all. I haven't really explored the area since I've moved here. It's strictly like this. There's this Ventura Boulevard, which is. Just a bunch of like restaurants and shit, and then all these side roads are just like to the highway and just like other little shit. Like it's very residential. Yeah, it's not a good place to like walk around, really. But I mean, hey, maybe it is. Maybe we just haven't I haven't explored it enough, you know? Have you got any bars around here? Yeah, I mean, a bar is always the same. I was I would also get kicked out probably. We could try, but I mean, fuck it, dude. I don't really want to drink though. Cause Hunter trying to fuck. Which, dude? Oh my god! Oh, oh Adrian gonna get this? What the fuck? Adrian's getting out later. What you mean? I'll give you piggyback. Wait, jump on, dude. Do it. Jump on her. Jump on her. What? Hold my purse. No, why? I'm gonna give him a piggyback. Just no, pig. Jump, jump on her. Yeah, see, this is no. Why? Why? What's wrong? I am. What? What's wrong, dude? All right, fuck you, dude. That picture of me on the internet. <laughs> but you want the picture of you carrying her? Yeah, that's much more dignified. Is it? I would let a girl give me a piggyback ride. Yeah, why yep. not? It's well, cute. It's your it's like a long yeah, fuck you, yeah. Fuck it, dude. Oh yeah, these that, you got to do it because you're the girl. They're, yeah, I think they're like they're like old and shit. Yeah. And there's kids. <laughs> oh great. Alrighty, let's uh, let's just walk down this way. I know the highway's over there. So let's fucking not go there. Hey, but if we go down this way, there's more like there's little shit. Yeah, there's not. There's, there's a subway. There is a good subway, dude. Fuck yeah. There's no. Uh, well, Ventura just has restaurants. It's just. What's up, bro? Holy shit! What are you doing? I'm very high and drunk. Give me a handshake. Thank Why you. are you biking, dude? That's a DUI waiting to happen. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. I'm allergy. Oh, okay. <laughs> What the? Hi, Sandra. What, nice did you? I'm not. Did you bike all the way here? I'm only live like ten minutes away. Shit, oh, dude. Why are you crying? My eyes are allergies. It's very cold outside, Adrian. Hey, yeah. Okay, where are you guys going? Uh, I don't know. What do you recommend around this area? I don't really know the area do very live? well. I don't know anything, dude. Where do people hang out at? There's a bunch of homeless people in the park. Fuck, let's go. Wait, wait. Right. The park? Where's the park at? Oh, follow me. Okay, fuck it, dude. Let's go. Cassandra. You love homeless people. You, I, yeah, I remember the, what we had earlier about the talk and dehumanizing and shit. Yeah, dehumanizing. yeah, so now you can see it in the flesh. Yeah, you. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. What's your name, dude? Max. Max, dude. Fucking. How come I haven't seen you yet? If you're only 10 minutes away. Uh, like, apparently three weeks ago. I thought I moved here a week ago. <laughs> like, I'm fucking, like, <laughs> I'm fucked up. Like, there's something wrong with my brain, dude. Navigate there. Can I ride this bike? Yeah, go ahead. Awesome. Christina Park. All right, we're gonna. Uh, you said it's just right down the street. You go straight for a while, and then I'll show you where to go. I'm not quite sure where it is, but it's my neighborhood. Oh, perfect. All right. Don't break that bike. Okay. How far of a walk is it? Would you say? A walk is like 20, 30 minutes. Oh fuck that! Let's just Uber. Oh okay. Fucking 30 minute walk. Give me there, but I'm not Ubering. <laughs> No, I just I get. My bike. Oh yeah. Wants to ride it all the way. There. Just uh, do we? I'll call an Uber. Just shove it in the Uber. No, I'll bike there. It's cool. It takes me ten minutes by bike. I mean, I guess we could walk. I mean, there's no, there's no harm in walking. I get you to. You are like six feet tall. Jesus. I get to explore the area. Yeah, I mean. You're pretty tall. I'm not a short motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, I, everyone always says that I'm taller than they think, but on my streams, can't you tell when? Everyone is very like yeah, shorter yeah, than me. Up, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, every, like I'm not. Not everyone is a midget. Like Those I'm just tall. Photoshop for Sam is like tiny. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> is, are, I don't think those are photoshops though. Jews. This, this is a very. This is a very Jewish neighborhood. Yes, I'm a Jew. I can tell. We are 25% related, right? I mean, it was 27, I think. 27%. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm 27% safe around here then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can, you can learn a little behavior. Learning behavioral center. What the fuck is this? Oh, medical and mental. Oh, this is where I can get a psychiatrist. Yeah. There you go. Well, apparently, you can rent out the space. 
Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Tarzana is a very uh, good part of LA, but it's not a very exciting part of LA. It's gotten worse over time. It's gotten definitely worse. What's the story behind the name? Uh, it's from Tarzan. The creator of Tarzan lived here. And he made the city name? Or I he think they named it after him. They na his name was Tarzan? No. <laughs> Tarzan was. He made Tarzan, so they named it after Tarzan. That's wild. Is there a monument or anything to Tarzan? No, that would be far too good for this place. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad place. I don't the, know. No, at the mail, at the... There's no bird scooters, though, so I hate it. There are, there are bird scooters. They've invaded here already. Oh, I haven't seen a single one. See orange line stop? They're everywhere. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> the orange line stop, huh? That's near my house. Yeah, Yo, she might actually steal your bike, homie. That's cool. I'd be fucking... It'll go down in history. Let me see. Hands of Brandon's coming. Alrighty, sounds good. Thank you very much for the motherfucking donation, dude. This is kind of surreal, man. And dude, I you, I've only lived ten minutes away. You could just come over to the house anytime you wanted. Yeah. My dad was actually don't stalk that guy. He's like don't stalk that guy. You don't want to be creepy. But you invite people over to your house all the time. You know, it's not even creepy when yeah when I invite it. So I it's, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But your dad's uh, just looking out for you. So that's good. But I've seen a lot of weird fucking shit. So a lot of weird this motherfuckers. This place does have weirdos. I've seen like homeless people uh, in like they stole a rug, and wrapped it around themselves, and was yelling at the traffic. God, where the fuck is he at, dude? The, my, right near my intersection. Oh, perfect. Where we're going. So it sounds like your neighborhood's full of content. Exactly. All right, dude. We'll yeah. check it out, man. Let's go see what it is, dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> do you live in uh, the safe part of Tarzana? Yes, I do. I live in, like, the Asian Jewish part of Tarzana. So why are there so many fucking homeless guys yeah, with it, rugs it, around them? They got them? worse. They got worse. They didn't used to be like this. Huh, all right, well, I guess we'll see. I mean, I've uh, I've walked around Tarzana a little bit, and I haven't seen anything too bad, like, anything yeah, bad at all. You're in the it's, part. You went, you, like, you're Hollywood is a much... Hollywood is a shithole compared to this yeah, place. Yeah. Like, this, uh, I didn't think L.A. could be so nice. There's usually homeless people right around there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sniffing them out. Adrian, how do you... How does this make you feel? I'm sniffing out homeless people for content. for content. I mean, I think it's fucked up, but go for it. Well, you, I think it would be a lot better if you gave them some some money in exchange, you know? I do. You what you mean? Them. I don't just use them, and then I do give money. You pay, the, you pay them? Indirectly. <laughs> How? What you mean, dude? Every homeless person that I've ever come in my shit, they always walk out with some kind of money. Really? Or, true. or true. something, dude, like a couple hundred. Really? Like for sure, yeah. Just a guy that you see on the street? It's usually for some bullshit reason. I mean, if I bring him back to the house. What? Sure. Let's go into rehab. Fuck it. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't die. I mean, yeah, it's not. I don't think the rehab's going to accept our, our shit. Uh, just random stuff about you. I don't know, saying... I don't know, what is the chat saying, dude? Fucking lies. Fucking, I don't know. Fonzie. Fonzie. Fonzie? I look like Fon I'm fucking Jewish, not Italian. I'm the Fonzie one over here. He's more Italian than I am. I mean, you must have a little bit of Italian in you. Would you oh. look like Italian? Yeah, people who could be dicks with traffic. We're hiring. Oh, no way, dude. Bro, I would be a great representative for a rehab center. Don't you think so, Adrian? The amount of drugs, like drugged up fucking people that I've met. Yeah. I could be a great fucking... You would be a good nurse at a rehab facility? I could be a good sponsor. Watch out, Adrian. That's what you can do after... Uh... Gosh. No, this is an old people home. I'm not going in there. Like, it's fucking... No, a bunch of old... I'm not walking to an old person rehab center. <laughs> That's kind of just fucked up. Uh, it's like a hospital and shit. What is it? Tacos. I think it's... No, it's a taco truck. It's a taco truck. Dude, let's go get some food from them. Why would they have a taco truck in the most random place? Okay. 
the area is very what? I looked up actually residential places around here because I was very curious to see uh, how, you know, what was around this area. This place is actually Section 8 housing. Oh, wait, it is? Yes. Yes, I looked it up. It's Section 8 housing. so much. Oh, there's a, piece of, there's a huge steak there. Dude, what the fuck? Nothing like some food, huh? Literal steak. <laughs> Yo, you want to take that back, back for food? Grab it, grab it for the homeless? Yeah. What do you mean? Or maybe they have a dog or something. So you think anyone's going to eat some fucking raw no, steak on the floor? What if, uh, sometimes homeless people have dogs, you know? Sandra, they're not animals, dude. This thing probably has AIDS on it. Ah! Hey. Don't do that! Here, take it. No. Take the fucking shit. Alright, well, I don't want to just carry it. This thing's probably. It's got a. This thing actually has probably AIDS on it. It's like a biological weapon. I know, dude. I gotta wash my fucking hands now. I don't have any soap though, so I'm just gonna hopefully not get sick from this. Let's see, go mess around in the Alcoholics and Hominous meeting. I think we're just gonna get kicked out at the side of a camera. What do you mean? As soon as they see the camera, they're not gonna let us in. I guess I can low key it. Where the fuck's your Alcoholics and Anonymous meeting? How far are we now, would you say? Um, less than 10 minutes. Alright, perfect. Yeah, this is, a, like I said, like very very residential. There's no people and then a bunch of apartments. <laughs> yeah. The only, there, there's really good something good about Tarzana. There's a lot of parking. Yeah, yeah. There's like a liquor store up there and like there's always homeless people over there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. I think some people might actually think I'm serious when I say I'm looking for homeless people. I'm not serious, I'm just You're kidding. You're a little bit serious. You're a little bit serious. Not really, dude. I mean, if I was serious, I would just go to a fucking shelter or something. You have the homeless people come to you now. That, that's what I noticed. No, I'm trying to cut that out. Remember that I, I don't I don't want homeless people to come to me. I want normal fucking people with houses, at least. No, no, no. Home Improvement Company. Okay. I thought that was, like, some weird shit. I was... Weather, I, I always like to try to look at those little jobs in the polls to see if I can do anything with those, but I don't think I can do anything with that. They want somebody who want, who's looking for a real job. A lot of telemarketers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Telemarketers. I always look for just like meetings and stuff on those polls. You should go to the community college around here and see if there's club meetings. Yeah, I've uh, I've been to it. It's very... Which, Pierce College? It, yeah, I went to Pierce College. It's very like, uh, it's very normal. Oh, man. It's, not, it's yeah. not, not a big university. No, no, of course not. You can go to CSUN. CSUN's interesting. Actually, I went to Pierce College to pick up some uh, contestants for my dating oh, show. that's where you got them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and, I mean, it's cool, you know, but it's a very small college, yeah. so there's not much to do there except... How the dating show go? Well, Jesse was not cooperative. It's so not very good. Oh. I mean, it was, it was all right. But, you know, Jesse was not being very cooperative, so... Well, she was just being the same as always, was she not? I mean, I guess, but I thought, I thought Jesse would actually want to, you know what I mean? I thought Jesse would want to, like, work with me there, but she didn't. What? Where do you order your weed from? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I just get it for free. People just come to my house and leave fucking weed, and that's it, dude. I don't have that. I haven't bought weed in so long, dude. People just give it to me. That's cool. Smoke a lot of weed? Nah. Nah, somebody give me an ounce. No, if somebody gives me like an eighth, I could last that for a month. Yeah, I'll take one. Okay, yeah, I have an extra one. <laughs> sure, dude, fuck it. Let's go pick it up. Let's go to that. No, you, I don't want to dox my own house, so. <laughs> well, let's go to that park. Okay, we can go to that park and then I can come Job. No way, dude. Hold on. Job. Just a few away. Oh, let me call this job real quick. Because this is a real job right now. Let's see if they can, uh, see what kind of person they're looking for. I feel like it's a scam.
expected. What? Alright, <clears throat> we're almost to the park. Let's see how this is. A park late at night is always, uh, it's either empty or interesting. One of the two. <laughs> it's never normal. <laughs> what, what, else is, what else goes on in Tarzana, man? Uh, not much. Too it's just residential, a bunch of Persians. Jew Jewish and Persian yeah, motherfuckers. That's Go, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, Jewish Persian motherfuckers, and uh, it's like it's it's like you know what upper middle class or something. Yeah, like, yeah And like really like rich motherfuckers. Because you know? uh, before I moved here, I looked at the area to make yeah, sure it was right, like right. decent uh, for for living and streaming. And it's like a upper middle like richy kind of area. Yeah, that describes me. <laughs> Would you consider yourself upper middle class? Yeah, basically. Well, you're Jewish. You're, you're fucking yeah. rich, dude. What yeah, do you mean? Sorry, sorry. It's just statistics. <laughs> okay, so we're here and we're Cedar Park. That's the park I was talking about. It's like a few blocks up, right? All right, let's do it. Let's let's throw Cassandra to the fucking sharks. You can feed her to the homeless people. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're almost there. Cut two blocks. Hey, it's not that bad, right? At least you got a bike. Oh, if you were walking, you'd be a little bit warmer right now. Yeah. What? This is dangerous. What does? Oh, text. And texting and biking? I mean, he said he was drunk and high, but better her to ride the bike than him. Are you, yeah, I, hey, I'm pretty good. Are you actually drunk and high? You're yeah, I am. Normal. That's because I'm... Like I pile. Why are you Why are you drunk and high right now? Well, I'm drunk because I drank some wine, but I'm high because I'm like, oh. <laughs> why? It's just like uh, just for fun, drink wine. I, 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 yeah, I was just a dinner. No, fuck it, dude. That was actually the normal part. The weird part is me being high all the time. Why? I'm a Californian. Well, that's not weird. That's normal. Yeah. I think being drunk, so a little bit weirder. No, I don't like smoking that much weed. Only a little bit. Yeah. But I do. I, I like drinking some wine here and there. It's very nice. Straight out of the bottle. Yes. Yeah. I'll buy a whole thing of Moscato for myself. Oh man. I'm a fucking. I'm a gay motherfucker. <laughs> All righty. This is where I get. Oh, okay. I see a little chicken stand over there. Is it Russian? Maybe I should uh, not eat any food right now, chat, because. I mean, Hyphonics is probably gonna, we're not gonna make it back in time, but I wanted to do, I wanted to do this hot dog competition, because that just sounds fun. And because I'm fucking hungry. What if it made out of Can you give us a discount? Are you trying to buy a hookah? Maybe. How much? 75. 75? For the blue one? We can promote your business. We have 9,000 people watching right now on YouTube. Could you give us a better deal? Yes, All right, let me. $50. I can speak in in the terms of men. Okay. She'll bl she'll blow you for that motherfucking hookah. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars and a blowjob. Fifty dollars, please. Can we get it? Can we get it for fifty dollars? <laughs> we will promote the business. <laughs> $60 I'm gonna give you. Really? Oh, yeah. $15 off. Yay! Okay, who's getting it? Uh, not me. Why the fuck would I get it for? Okay. That's not uh, how this works. Tempting. Okay, how much is the, um, the flavor? Or whatever. She's trying to get me to pay for something that she wants. We can go 50-50. Huh? Depends which level I don't know. You tell me. I, I'm I, gonna package you for $50. I, I say fuck it, Cassandra. If we if you want a hookah, we could do that later. We can't even go to the hookah lounge, so like, might as well get it. It's an online stream, right? Huh? It's an online yeah, stream. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, do you know live streams? Huh? Do you know live streams? You know about them? Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon. You do, huh? What do you, what do you, who do you watch? No, no, don't miss it. I'm watching, uh... They're, they're prank calling. Uh, oh, music. Wreckful? No, I'm... Wreckful. That's yeah. what I thought. Everything, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, we should go. We'll, uh, we should go before the calls get a little abnormal. So, let's, uh, see you later, dudes. That's how I found you. I found you through Rec Through Recful? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, I don't like that, dude. I don't like the feeling now. 
Like the callers and shit. Like this is so like they're like staring at us now. I don't like this. Huh? I don't. I don't. Adrian, I don't like this feeling. Why? I hate it, dude. What? Like they're just they were just staring at us. He gave me the dead like the deadly deadliest look in his. Aw. Yeah. His, his demeanor his demeanor went from happy to fucking yeah. I'm gonna kill you. No, that's fucked up. Immediately. That's fucked up. I don't like the and like I actually get scared. Like when he opened that trunk, dude, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought he was gonna pull out a shotgun. No, I know. It's so like that's terrifying. Like it's like why? Because I'm like, why the fuck would he open the trunk after giving me the look of a of death? Right. <laughs> you should like talk to. People. It's not like it's just random people that are waiting for the bus. I kind of don't want to do this. It doesn't count. Huh? Why is this a bad area? This is not sketch at all. It's actually like I, I walk here literally every day. It's not yeah, but you're a man. She's a woman. Ah, that's partially true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. This is. <laughs> what the fuck is this area, dude? Where are we? The metro station. No metro station's ever good. Sure. Yeah. It's like two blocks. Yeah, it's like right down there. It's not far. Don't worry, Cassandra. You'll be safe. The bike makes you safer as well. She's so scared. It's, they just ride the bus, Cassandra. It's fine. That does dip there. I thought he was coming for the for Cassandra. How you doing, sir? I thought he was running. I thought he was running straight for her, dude. I thought she was about to get that bike stolen. <laughs> Fucking Jack told me. Hell, yeah, well, not not because of that. It was because he she he looked like he was running towards her. A lot of cigarette shops around here, huh? Oh, yeah. What's up with that? The weed smoker's paradise. Hands of brands following you. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. That's where I get all my blood off. <laughs> all these Persian... You, these motherfucking Persian dudes, they just love to smoke tobacco. That's what it is. And Jewish people love their, love their cigars. Alrighty. Let's see how. Uh, so the park's right up here, you said, huh? Huh? So the park's right up here? Yeah. It's just like one of the Good. I'm so hungry right now. I want to eat that mini pizza, but. There's a McDonald's right up there. Then I might just save it for the hot dogs. Yes, because I'm a disgusting fuck and I'm going to dip it in water and eat it, shove it down my throat. I also don't want to eat anywhere on stream. It's oh. not a good idea. Safe school zone. Any person who commits a crime in the area is subject to increased penalties. Great. Wait, where's the school at? No yeah, fuck it, dude. She's smoking tobacco on school fucking property, I guess. Or nicotine. I remember the law used to be if you're like a thousand foot of a school with nicotine, you get fucked. I don't think that's the law anymore, though, because I've done that a, a million shit. times. There's, like, no police that really enforce anything. Yeah, nobody should care about that. It's only nicotine. Kids smoke jewels in school anyways. Fuck it. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, Cassandra. How about you stop being lazy? You got the bike. I know. You got a bike and you're still being lazy. Come on. You got the bike and you're still being lazy. Come on. Sandra's Jewish. Is she though? I she's German. Are you Jewish? You are? How are you German and Jewish? I am too. What do you mean? German and Jewish? 25% my grandma. What the fuck? How, dude? They got kicked out. I just don't... What? Okay, that's, I don't know how you could be German and Jewish. Okay, I'm, I'm a... Well, technically my parents are Catholic. 
And then I always thought I was a Christian. My Jewish family, eight generations. So you're German. We should have huh. Shabbat. I trace my shit back. Hey, I'll, I'll come along. I'm two percent African. Bring my halal. Sure. You want halal? Yeah. Halal. Yeah. Halal. Halal. Yeah. That's isn't that Middle Eastern? So good. No, halal is a bread. Yeah. Bread. <laughs> uh, when the yeah, fuck? Shabbat. When is Shabbat? Friday night. Every Friday. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Let's do some Shabbat. Hey, that can Grace be like a CX. Grace is 27%. CX Shabbat. <laughs> the chat's probably spamming uh, Star of David, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no, they're not. They're just roasting. No, no, they're roasting me. <laughs> uh, it's fucking cold out here, ain't it? I can't wait till it starts to get warmer out here. I can't. I, I hate this cold ass weather. It's just it's awful, dude. Like California is supposed to be hot. I remember last year it was mainly hot even in the winter. I don't know why it's so fucked this year. It's 50 degrees. Go to the strip. Meet up with right up Richie. There. Right up there. What the fuck is Richie doing? The park's right there. Let's see. What was Richie doing, chat? I know he was hanging out with Bone Clinks, but I don't really know what they were doing. I didn't really watch that deeply into it. Where are you going? Run. What happened to the creepy security guard? Uh, I don't know. We don't need a security guard right now at the house. If we get, I, I, we would. If I want security at the house, I get a professional security guard, not a a viewer. So, but he left. He went back to Chicago. I'm pretty sure. So. He did a good job while he was here, the guy with the beard. Okay, so we've walked down this street, and I have come to the conclusion that there is nothing to do in this area. <laughs> it is just extremely residential. This is the first time I've walked down this area without a car or anything. But it is right up there. Okay, I mean, we've only been walking for like 30 minutes. It's really not that bad, to be honest. Well, I, I, I may have made that assumption on the, the fact that I was going to be but Are like, you dropping that $45 cigar? Okay, you want this? <laughs> in your bag? Uh, uh, yeah. I, I was so sad I didn't get to have some of that cigar. I thought I could just sneak in there a little bit. You know? I mean, you could have some if you want. I don't really care, dude. <laughs> it's just some, some, some tobacco. Yeah. Pet friendly. Yes. Yes, yeah. What the fuck? Hello there. Where are we, dude? Ghetto Mexicans. Ghetto Mexicans? Why do you say that? I'm very politically incorrect. Is this the ghetto? It's not really, but uh, kind of, a little bit. And this doesn't look that ghetto. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Relatively to the area we were in before. Oh, great. Nothing like walking into the hood, huh? There's a lot of these, like... Dude, look at this. Cars. You know it's a hood when they have the pet waste uh, trash can sign dented. Okay, it's on its fucking side. People do this in LA. They just get fucking RVs and they park it on the side and they live on the side of the road. If I'm ever in a really bad situation, I would do that. It sucks, but like it's comfortable. S slightly. That's not too bad. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't want to go into any of the stores though. But like, I kind of do. For like... To talk to people since there's nobody outside. But the fucking... I'm scared because... Callers don't say troll shit anymore. They just say I'm there to rob the store and try to get me killed. Alrighty. There's that McDonald's that he was talking about. Ooh. Adrian, I really think she's coming on you, man. She likes you. You guys actually would make a cute couple. Hearts in the chat. For Adrian and Cassandra, everybody. Adrian, didn't you say you wanted to live in the street? Does that make people feel uncomfortable? All I'm imagining is that 
the Reddit post. <laughs> what Reddit post? I don't know. Why do you care so much about the Reddit? You know they're all trolling, right? They're trying to you. Why don't you, you. Why don't you just do something? Why, why, why don't you just fuck her, dude? <laughs> fuck it, dude. Get you what? You get a hate thread for that? Fuck it, dude. What's that? If you get a hate thread for it, fuck it, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, didn't you say you wanted to stay? Does stay in. Like walk like this? Is that? I, I don't even. I wouldn't do that I mean, with like my normal. Why not? Because it's. It's comfortable. I'm, I'm not, uh, it's Aww, well, you should be more. You should affectionately. I thought you were going for the ass grab. It's good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Like sometimes I just need a fucking hug. Yeah. Go to the strip. I don't know what the strip is. Uh, is there like a strip in Tarzana? A what? A strip? Ventura Boulevard is where all the good stuff is. Yeah, but there's nothing. The stream on Ventura Boulevard is only stores, and I'm not going in any stores, dude. Can I ride that tankwork? How you doing, sir? You know, she's the very infamous skateboard thief. Oh, yeah? There you go, Adrian. I'm trying to get him laid. So I think it's doing things going well. You're helping out here. She gave me my bike back. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna uh, she's ball, yeah. I'm scared. Get on it. No. I wanna fall. Alright, well, I don't know how to ride a skateboard and I'll bust your shit up. I'll bust your shit up, dude. No no no, don't And I have my hands filled with shit. Oh, you're good. You got it. Ah, I'm so scared right now. Yeah, a little bit. Are you dying? Okay. That's all I need. That's all I <laughs> need. I went two feet. I'm shaking. <laughs> Is that the park? Yep. Is that really somewhere we should go at night? All the Watch out for cops? They're always here. Why? They're always here. What's going, what goes on in that park? You're just not supposed to be there after dark. That's all. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> well, what, do, is there like drug dealers and shit over there? It is. there illegal motherfuckers? <laughs> shit that goes on? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's That's dangerous. Why they're there. Is yeah. it dangerous? Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Can we just take an Uber somewhere? Where are you taking us, dude? A fucking dangerous park that you're not supposed to be at? I so, think cops are all over this area? <laughs> Can we do a walkthrough at McDonald's? And no, get it no, instead of a drive through No. Well, we could actually, but they. Then scare the shit out of them. They, like, they wouldn't. Oh. They wouldn't serve us. Really? And I think the uh, the drive through it's weight based, so you have to weigh a certain amount before it rings that you're there. This isn't even a park, dude. Where's the fucking slides at? And shit. There's like a basketball court. Yeah, don't worry. People pick up after their dogs around here. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is probably one of the worst parks I've ever seen. This is just a flat land. Oh, are there swings? Yay! Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. There's the actual stuff here. It looks like got a little dirt trail, a little basketball court. She was scared as fuck a second ago. Now she's running off by herself. Okay, wait. You have to put on your flashlight. Oh, you can't see? I can see just fine. People can't see. The, the stream can see. I'm looking at my camera. Oh, what? Why is he going away from us with his bike? Is he putting us in a bad position right now? Man, dude, what the fuck? This is what? This is the least interesting part. The least interesting part? Yeah. What's the interesting part? The basketball court? Yeah, there's, 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 there's nobody in there, dude. It's one guy. <laughs> Where are we going, dude? There's no... It's just... There's nothing in this park. Is this a baseball fucking field? I don't think there are swings. I think he's tripping. Okay, fuck it, dude. You know the door's right there. You're running past the door. Oh, there's a giant fucking mud puddle. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
kommen. What's up, bro? Late night basketball? Do you come here often? No? Oh, okay, it's the first time? No, I do come once in a while. Oh, nice. I just moved down the street checking the park out. Is this a nice area? Yeah. Nice place, nice park? Good shit, dude. Cassandra, here, hold this bag. Let me let me do a shot. Or Can you hold this? Let me, uh... Yeah, live. You know live streaming? Yeah. Oh, who do you watch? Um, I just watch mostly game players. Like what? Or like who? Like um. Ninja, yeah, Ninja. He's a he's a good guy. He's good. You like Fortnite though? <laughs> I'm really bad, as you can see. Are you You're not anymore? that bad. Yeah. You just haven't played in a while. <laughs> I played in a basketball. <laughs> really? Let's see. I think it's to see some of the some three pointers. Actually let me I'll try to I'll try to block you. You got winded from that? Huh? You got winded from that? I have something wrong with me, Adrian. I want healthy. Hi. What's your name? Diego. Nice to meet you. Jacob? Diego. Diego, nice to see you. basketball uh, I'm terrible at basketball I was so bad that I joined my middle school team and they made me the manager what you mean what was your like what like the towel boy or something no like I I had to write down all the stats from the games you know oh Wow. 
Wow, that was actually close. Well, we should uh, we should keep going. All right. Can I get a picture of you before I head out? Yeah, for sure, bro. Thanks, man. Happy you uh, want... guys found this uh, somewhat interesting. Oh God. Okay, good enough. <laughs> oh, Thanks, you, man. man. It's really nice meeting you. Of course. I might stop by again. Yeah, stop. Bye. Just, just audition nice on Saturday. Butler? Audition for the Butler on Saturday. Hell yeah. All right, dude. All right. Well, we'll see you later, dude. Okay. Thanks for letting us play. I guess I'll take it. Wait, where are the swings? Oh, okay. Here, hold on. Let me put something oh, in. in the bag here. Give me a sec. No. See ya. If you want to follow me, I'll see you in the swing Okay. Alright, let's uh let's just go fucking I wanna do the, the I wanna do the hot dog eating contest. Alright. The swings? What swings? Where? I wanna go back to the house. How you doing? What's up? You guys playing basketball uh, basketball? Yeah, we about to. Shit. I was just playing basketball with him. I'm I'm horrible though. Down to play? Down to play? No. I'm down. I'm down. No, we're terrible. What do you mean you're down? I want to play. No, let's play. No, we got a whole team. A whole team? No, no, I'm terrible. You guys see, are probably good as fuck. No, man. No. I mean, if you know him, you must be good. He's pretty good himself. Oh, I'm all right. I'm going to get winded in, in three seconds. We're going to ruin their game. Can we play for like five minutes? Yeah, exactly. All right, y'all, y'all want to throw down on some basketball? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. What are the teams? Are we actually playing? We're probably gonna do this for like five minutes because I'm gonna win this in like two. He ain't not even giving himself a shot. We'll see. We'll see how good we get. So let's do uh, the sixth team set. Wait, but we're not running here. Hey, it's only, it's only a sport. <laughs> 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 first three to make it? What do you mean by that? Uh, that's how you determine who's the best player. Oh, okay. <laughs>
post like. Alright, I like the cross. Oh, you're so good. Alright, our ball, our ball. Alright? Oh, 
Pretty bad, right? Let me hold it. No, I wasn't. The only thing I'm good at is blocking because I'm tall as fuck. Yeah, you block. But I cannot shoot, nor can I dribble or do anything else <laughs> for shit. I can't, like, you act, you actually did better than me. You got a ball in, I did it. Oh, I got one ball in, but. Looks like I'm bringing the CX to house team fucking baby. This, I mean, this. Five minute drive from the house, 30 minute walk. And invite them over. I'm not coming back to ball. Uh, uh, you think, you think that, nah, they're playing basketball. I'm not gonna drag them away from playing basketball to, well, come to the house and do what? Smoke weed. <laughs> not everyone. Not, not everyone we, uh, we meet has to fucking come back to the house. <laughs> Hey, besides, Hyphonics is doing his... I want to actually... I don't know. Has, has Hyphonics started his eating competition chat? I want to fucking... Now that I'm worked up, this is a good time for me to eat food. Because I'm more hungry. So, is that started or is, 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 it, is it too late? I got carried but I put in effort. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm just... I'm uncoordinated. That's what it is. That's what it is. No, you're not. I am very uncoordinated, but I'm tall as fuck, so I can block. Uh, I can block a motherfucker. That's for sure. Do you play basketball? No. Always go. All right, let's. Uh, here, I'm gonna call an Uber okay. to your car. Yeah. And then we'll go back to the house right. so we can join his eating Do you stream. Do walk all the way there? Sorry. No, I'm yeah. calling an Uber. Fuck walking. walking 30 more minutes. <laughs> That guy seriously undersold how far it was. Wanna wait over there? Yeah, we'll wait right here. Oh, 
Sorry, right, Chad. Well, we're heading over back to the house right now. We're just going with that, like immediately just going back to the house right now. Mods, if you could just post Hyphonix's uh, link in the chat, I'll be joining. I'll join him on the uh, on the eating stream and uh, yeah, fucking. I think I can do. A, I think I can eat a lot of fucking food. So we'll see if I win or not. Uh, I hope I win because I don't want to fucking nail my ear. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. But mods, post this stuff in the chat, please, and uh, there's a link in the chat, and I'll see you guys over on his stream. All right. Uh, I'll be over there in like literally five minutes, so I'll see you guys uh, about then, all right? Love you guys. Peace out. Really, check out Hyphonics' stream, okay? So we can uh, have the eating competition. Uh, link in the, in the chat probably from the mods, and cool. go from there, all right, guys? Peace.